Hi everybody, Steve here at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. And I'm staying behind a really big tree because it's very windy. I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to block out uh, some of the wind. How many of you are fans of the classic Christmas movie, Home Alone? Do you remember actress Billy Bird? She's one of my favorite actresses. She was just so funny, had such a very distinctive voice and personality. And Home Alone was just one of the many classic movies she appeared in. She appeared in at least two or three John Hughes films, but of course, Home Alone is the big Christmas classic and everybody's favorite. I don't know anyone who doesn't like it, but I'm sure someone will leave a comment saying they don't like it. <laughs> so feel free, I'd like to know who you are. She's laid to rest here in the Ascension section, which is at the top of the hill. So if you come in through the front gates, just go all the way up to the very top. And as soon as it dead ends, and you have to make either a left or a right, just park and go straight. And that's where her gravesite is located. It already had a GPS, so it was pretty easy to find. From 1988 to 1992, she also appeared in a popular TV series at the time, starring Judd Hirsch, it was called Dear John. Any of you remember that show? I had forgotten all about it until I did a little research before coming here. And then when I discovered that she was a regular cast member, I was like, oh, okay, that's probably where I really know her from. Although I think every movie she was ever in, you would probably remember because she had such a distinctive personality and such a distinctive voice. And she's she acted, her career lasted from, I believe, the silence until she died in 2002 at the age of 94, so she had a really long career and a long life. And before she was on Dear John, she was on the TV show Benson from 1984, I believe, until 1986. Although she lived a very long life and had a successful and memorable career, the last years of her life were not the happiest. She suffered from Alzheimer's disease and died in Granada Hills, California on November 27, 2002 at the age of 94. In Home Alone, she has a memorable scene in an airport where Kevin's mom is trying to convince her and her husband, Ed, to switch plane tickets with her so the McAllisters can get home to their eight-year-old son, Kevin, who they accidentally left behind and is now home alone for Christmas. The actor who played Bird's husband, Ed, in the film was Bill Irwin, who was a popular character actor for seven decades. He died in nearby Studio City on December 29, 2010, at the age of 96. He was cremated and unfortunately has no final resting place to visit. Sadly and strangely, I wasn't able to find a Find a Grave memorial page for actor Roberts Blossom, who played Old Man Marley in the film. But I did find an online source that said that he had been buried at Woodlawn Cemetery in Santa Monica. But when I called them, they said he definitely was not buried there. So again, sadly, his final resting place is also unknown. He died in Santa Monica, California on July 8, 2011 at the age of 87. Actor John Candy also has a very funny scene in the film where he tries to console Kevin's mom by sharing that he once left his son overnight in a funeral parlor. Candy is laid to rest at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California, and I visited his gravesite about a year ago for my Halloween video since he was born on Halloween. Candy tragically died from a heart attack at the very young age of 43 on March 4, 1994 in Durango, Mexico. Actor Ralph Foody played the gangster Johnny in the black and white film within the film called Angels with Filthy Souls. And he's probably best remembered for one of the funniest and most popular lines in the movie, Keep the change, you filthy animal. Foodie died from cancer in Lexington, Kentucky on November 21st, 1999 at the age of 71. And he's laid to rest at the Lexington Cemetery. Kevin's dad, Peter McAllister, was played by actor John Hurd. Hurd died from cardiac arrest in Palo Alto, California on July 21st, 2017 at the age of 71. He's laid to rest at Old South Cemetery in Ipswich, Massachusetts. This week I want to thank my newest Patreon supporter, Jamie Domini. Thank you, Jamie, for your very generous donation to my channel. It means a lot and it really does help make future trips like this possible. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.